again my YouTube friends, it's Margaret here from Emmy's Orchids and um, the Central Year team did click in. Thank goodness it's, it has been rather chilly, although in the grow room here it's 20.3 but it went down last night at 17.8 and um, the Central Year team uh, switch was put to 17C uh, and it clicked in so it is rather chilly. Right, so we've done the van der Kervifolia and that's behind me now on the shelf here. And this is the one I wanted to uh, take a look at next. And this is the Arades Falcata. And you might think, well why do I need to have a look at this one now? And the reason being, um, I think this piece of wood is starting to break down. Now, I started to take it off, um, but I want to just take you through the process because whether I'm doing right or doing wrong, I've no idea. Um, so, if you want to just bear with me now, um, this has got an awful lot of live roots, and um, I'm going to try and get these roots through into this Iron Maiden here. And um, so I've got to go very, very cautiously and uh, let me just put the rest of this uh, bark out at the bottom here because what I'm wanting to do, I don't need the bark in the bottom, um, I've got some um, lacquer beads and uh, I can just put the lacquer beads down here. Right, like I say now this could be the biggest disaster movie. Um, or it'll work and sometimes we just have to keep our fingers crossed and I'll, it works so let me just put these um, lacquer beads down in here just, uh, I can't put many in because already they're falling out but of course I've got this piece of um, horticultural matting here which if I just Pulling up a little tiny bit, then I can keep more of these uh, lacquer balls inside. And I really don't need anything at the bottom, it's just uh, if I, I've got these in the bottom, the uh, it's not going to rot, is it? Right. Okay, so I've done that now. Now let's see. Let's put this down on one side now until I need it. And uh, I'm going to turn you around now with the camera and uh, get you at an angle so that you can see what I'm going to do. Okay, so hold on now. Let's bring you down. It's going to allow me to bring you down. I've got to move the camera in a little bit. There we go. Sorry about the noise. I've got one of these um, tripods that's uh, got bendy legs. And uh, you just need to get it in. There we go. Angled just right. Get it just, just right. Right, so I think I've got the angle right now, so just bear with me when I get back in my seat and uh, we'll carry on. Okay, so where's my scissors? And uh, I'm just going to put that down here now. And let's, I've been trying to just uh, take some of this old sphagnum moss off. Uh, pull some of the uh, um, fishing line off in the hope it'll just all of it just come off in one go. And I don't think, although we could have, maybe I think I 
I've got one root going through. Oh no, I've got more than one. Oh, that's going to be dead awkward, that is. Let's have a look. Can you see? Can you see where we've got one root? Now, let me just see what I'll show you. There. Can you see? I've got one root in that groove there, and I've got another root down here. So that's going to be dead open. Sorry about that. Let me just take the rest of this sphagnum moss off first and just check it. And I don't believe, although I could be wrong, that I've got a branch big enough for this. Which is a bit disheartening really. Because it means I've got to go out into the garden and let's say it's not that brilliant today and see if I can find something that will uh, actually accommodate this humongous Bigorades. Let's have a look. I brought the toolbox up with all my tools and uh, I'm not sure whether I brought that nice little Dentist tool up with me. What do I have? Because that's one of the things you have to do when you're in the, when you're starting to upload videos. Uh, you always have to have everything to hand. Right. Let's see. Let's see what we're doing here. Can you see now where the uh, that root is? And let's have a look where this one is here. And I've got one in there. So why do I think this is uh, this piece of wood is breaking down? Because if I'll show you after. I can't show you. I can't show you now. But let's see if I can release this root. Hold on. I need to bend down and get into my little toolbox. And uh, see what I've got I can just use. Actually, I can use this. I might have to use this piece of wire. to try and do of course is, is save the roots. You see that root there? And see. Ah, that's good. If I can get underneath the root that one. Whew, tell you. And I've got another one here. I've got two. I've got two that have um, attached through. Now this is the other one. This is the other big one here. So 
and I don't think this part of the wood has quite broken down as the other part. Right, bear with me a minute again. Otherwise I've got to go all the way down into the garage to um, get that uh, dentist tool and uh, I really don't want to do that if I can help it but never mind I might have to okay let's see let's see how sorry about that I've caught you again with me. The angle of this uh, the grade is just hold on. Right, sorry about that. I'm trying to keep you as close as I can. And uh, so I've managed to go down to the garage and get this tool. And what I'm trying to do is to save this nice big root as well as keep you in camera. And then okay. Let's see if it'll just release. Are you going to see what I'm seeing? But uh, hopefully you will. I'm, I know I'm, I'm breaking the vellum in a little bit here. What can I do? Because I'll need to, to get underneath this. Let's see if I can just let's release that from there. This was watered yesterday, as it is most days. Oh dear. Right. I've lost a bit of the, uh, I've lost a little bit of the vellum. No? Okay. So that's that root. That's two release now. And the other one I've got to release. Let's bring it this way. Can you see this one here? Let's see if I can show you. This one. Can you see this one here? Now. I don't even know where that one's coming from. Oh! I've got one. Goodness gracious. And the thing is, the, the, why I'm being so careful is, is, um, you know, I'm part way through the growing season and uh, I don't want this particular orchid to, uh, there we are. Let's see if it does. Right, I'll show you that in a second. This is what I wanted to show you. Now, can you see? Can you see what I'm showing you? I've just lift, lifted the camera slightly down. Bring it this way. Let's bring it this way. Then I'll put you put the camera back on that tray. Okay. This, can you see this now? Can you see all this? Can you see all this here? This. And see? Can you see it all down there? Ooh. This piece of wood 
has broken down. There was that piece that I said I've lost some of the vellum. In. But that's the only one. Okay. Right, so I'm going to put this out of the way now. I'm going to see if I can put you and the camera back on here. And hopefully, ooh, sorry about that noise then. Um, I'll be able to show you what I'm doing now. Okay. Let's just get a little, let's just get rid of a little bit of this rubbish here. Sorry about this. But, but if I don't get rid of it now, I'm limiting my ability to. Uh, Um, actually, we put this in one of the Iron Maidens, probably. Okay. Let me just put that rubbish in this bowl here. Right. Okay. I might just need to bring you up, so let's just... Um, So there's that nice root and I've just unfortunately caught a little bit of that vellamin which couldn't be helped. Let me just take this label off here but I can remember where I put my scissors and I can't. So the scissors are down here. Because if I don't take this label off and I've got a lot of um, fishing line on here to uh, get that stuck in this uh, Iron Maiden. Right. Now, this Aredes Falcata, I've had, uh, how long have I had this now? So there we go, I'm looking. January 19. And, and this one did flower for me. I was really thrilled to bits. And it was the most absolutely fantastic smelling. Um, orchid there is. But look, can you see what the problem is? Is um, the way it hangs, all the excess water and fertilizers um, always fall on this part here. And, and what it's doing, of course, it's, it's just making it so unsightly. And um, I'm just trying to see if I can just hang it for myself around a little better. So I thought, what I'll do, let's get the Iron Maiden up now. Okay. So this is the Iron Maiden. And if you notice... Right, I'm going to have to move you down again now. It's going to be up and down, up and down, until I can just get the angle right for you. Because what I want to show you now is how I'm going to try and fix this into the Iron Maiden. Alright. So we've got all these roots, but we've got really... I know you're going to be able to frame now aren't you? But it's only while I just try and manoeuvre this big main root through here into the Iron Maiden and then once I can get this through here I'm just wondering whether or not I can manoeuvre this so it grows that way.
Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, 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 <laughs> and I can't edit it out, so... But this is what I'm trying to do. You see, there's the Iron Maiden. And I want this to grow on the outside. But I want those roots there to be able to roam freely inside here. And I'm trying to think whether or not I can show you any better. Just hold on. Okay, so I'm still quite unstable. What I'm trying to do is see if I can put some polystyrene down in here first. Just bear with me. I'm hoping you can see what I can see because I brought you in at a different angle. matting out of the bottom. What a mess we're making. But I know what I want to do. So it's completely free now, this one. Even though I might be looking as though I don't know what I'm going to, what I'm doing. But I do know what I'm doing. Just uh, seeing whether I can get it just to work out. Right. to do is just get this piece of polystyrene to stay there while I place this humongous root These, then these roots, can you see? These roots here, these roots here then can ramble through. I don't think I'm going to get it any lower. I might be pushing my luck. If I could get it a little bit lower, I would love it. In the sense, if I could get this root here to come through. I might be pushing my luck too much there. Do you think more of it? Because what would happen then is... Um, let me just think about it a second. Just keep bearing with me if you would. Unfortunately, what I've just done then is I've just caught the end of that little root. You know, the one I very, very gently. What I'm trying to do now is just secure with a ziplock tie this main root here. But, uh, because it's so top heavy. This root here uh, secure. Let's see if I can 
Once I've secured this, there you see, what? now I've secured that. So can you see now? That's secure. Now, I've got all these nice aerial roots. I've got all these roots here. And that's that root that I've just snapped off. Doesn't that just make you want to spit? And what I'm going to try and do now, you see this bit here? I'm going to bring this round. There. No, I can't bring it round there, but I'm going to bring it round here. And I'm going to zip tie this one here. So I'm just going to put you on hold a second because I don't want to rush out of time with you. Right. Okay. I've put another zip lock tie here. And all those roots now, can you see all those roots? They're all inside there except this big one here and this lovely live one here and I've got it positioned so when it goes in the window this part tilts inwards this part tilts inwards rather than out um, outwards and then what I'm going to do now is see all these these here um, I can just refill with bark I'm going to use some of this barnacle and because uh, there's nothing wrong with this bark I might find the odd one that started to uh, deteriorate a little bit um, I don't know if it's going to be deteriorated that much and, oh look, see how it's falling through now so what I'm going to do is um, Put some um, of that matting in here, but I don't really want to do that. But I can position um, some of these pieces of um, bark um, and then what I'll do now, and I notice that I've only got a minute left, um, let me just show you going to look on this shelf if, if I've got enough if I've got enough uh, time just bear with me a minute down into seconds now. Can you see where I'm coming from now? I could actually in a minute off camera I'm going to just manoeuvre it so the actual front of the orchid lies this way and but I've got to be careful because I see those roots there. I don't want them attaching towards the window but I think that's going to be better now and uh, and then in a follow-up video, this will all be filled um, with media. And those roots, you see, I've only damaged the one root. They're going to be fine. And the rest like the other Iron Maidens do. Now, I do apologise for the, uh, the disruption during this video. And uh, I'll come back at some point. And, uh, oh, there's the Van der Curvy Foley.